Hello viewers, and today I have got another shotgun loadout that you can use in Warzone. And today, as you can see, I am using the R9 shotgun, which was absolutely rampant a couple of seasons ago with its dragon fire ammunition conversion. But for this video, I'm not using those dragon breath rounds, and instead I just wanted to see what the regular ammunition was like in this weapon and see how it fared in Warzone. For this combination of attachments, I wanted to focus on that hip fire accuracy, and that means tightening up that pellet spread whenever I pull the trigger. As you probably know, the R9 shotgun, you can fire two shots quite quickly before you have to load in the next two rounds. This means that you can actually down someone fairly quickly at point blank range, and there is plenty of magazine capacity to take on multiple enemies if you time your shots right. But before I break down these attachments for you and show you some awesome gameplay that I've got with this shotgun, it would be really cool if you could consider subscribing to the channel, especially if you like seeing gameplay for meta and mainly off meta loadouts in Warzone, just to see how they fare and things like that. But I would just like to say to everyone that has subscribed, likes the videos, comments and just watches the videos, thank you very much for being a part of this channel. And so starting off in the muzzle attachment slot, we are using an attachment that's actually unique to the shotgun weapons from Modern Warfare, and that is the choke. As you can see, it says that it tightens up that pellet spread, and therefore it will increase the damage range, because the pellets that come out of the shotgun, let's say there's 10 pieces of buckshot, or whatever you'd like to call it, when you fire the weapon, they may spread out over a certain distance, but by using the choke, the deviation of where those buckshots are actually going is definitely tightened up and that means that it lands in a more concentrated spot and hopefully that spot is going to be the enemy. We lose a little bit of aim down sight speed and as you can see I have put an optic on this combination of attachments and I will explain why in a moment. On top of that choke in the barrel attachment slot I'm going to use the forge tack sentry barrel which will further increase the damage range and tighten up that pellet spread even more. Yes, it loses a little bit more aim down sight speed, but I am focusing on hip fire and that tighter pellet spread will almost be a cluster of very high damage pellets when we've got all of these attachments in the right combination. And so to tighten up that hip fire spread even more, we are using the five milliwatt laser in the laser attachment slot. On regular weapons, this will improve the hip fire accuracy by around about 60%. And so we can be fairly certain that it has a similar effect on this R9 shotgun. In the underbarrel attachment slot, I wanted to make the most of the fact that when you actually aim in with a shotgun, that will naturally tighten up the pellet spread. If you actually watch some gameplay in slow motion and watch as I aim down sights, you will notice before the crosshair reticle disappears, it actually tightens up quite considerably. And so, in the underbarrel attachment slot, I'm using the Merc foregrip because as well as furthering that hip fire accuracy by a further 17%, we also gain some vertical recoil control in the form of a 70% improvement. And this means because we're going to be firing two shots quite rapidly, if we're aiming down sights, it's going to keep us on target that little bit more. And for the final attachment, as you can see, I've stuck on the aim up reflex sight. This only adds a measly four milliseconds to the aim down sight speed. And it gives, as it says, a precision sight picture. This means that it's just a slightly nicer picture for you to look through rather than the iron sights, which can often be a little bit clunky. Now, the reason I've put this on is because I did want to try and see what the iron iron was like when I was aiming down sights for when I knew someone was coming around a corner. Obviously, you lose a lot of maneuverability when you're aiming down the sights and so I reserved it solely for the times when I knew that an enemy was about to come around the corner and I could get a super tight pellet spread shot off. Of course though if you don't fancy aiming down sights whatsoever and you just want to be as nimble as possible then you could instead use something like the tube extensions in the ammunition slot which will carry an extra four additional rounds of the uh, shotgun for you or you could increase the reload speed of the shotgun shells that are already in there with something like sleight of hand but of course the this last attachment is entirely up to you 
but let me know down in the comments if you do give this weapon a go. I'm sure most of you have probably used the R9 shotgun if you are a long time player of Warzone as Dragon Breath was pretty much everyone's secondary weapon at some point or another even though I don't even have it unlocked yet but I would like to get it unlocked fairly soon and maybe do a video on it and see if it's still good in Cold War Season 4 of Warzone but anyway let me know if you give this uh, shotgun a go nonetheless and leave a like if you enjoy the video and subscribe if you would like to see more. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy the gameplay. Tear gas going out. I should slow them down. I can maybe rush up. They shouldn't be able to hear me over the sound of the gas or maybe the sound of them coughing. Oh, I've got one. Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Oh, I've got a teammate coming back. A kill. I just heard another one drop in. Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Okay. Always got to check the roofs around here. Throwing frag. Oh, got a hit. That was close. No! Oh, he was in the roof. Right, just ignore me. Just ignore me. Just ignore me. Yes! Right, one of them's below us. Get this teammate up nice and quick. Make sure they don't rush me. Trying to stay alive. Charger set. I got a hit. Come on. Ah, oh, down two and broke his armor. If I shot, if I'd aimed a little bit higher, then I reckon I would have knocked him. Ah, oh, that's annoying. You'd be surprised just how good this magnum is. I'm gonna have to give it a proper go soon. Oh. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm consistently breaking armor after two shots. Oh, someone's here. Probably on the roof. I know that loadout drops fall on here. Sounds like a car 98. Oh. Got him. Only 25 left. Keep up the good work. Ooh, go on, finish him off. Yes, nice. Oh, there's a lot of people up. Oh, okay, didn't get an armor break then. But I bet he was close. Not to make the most of it. Not too... Quite surprised by that. That was close. Quite surprised no one's in here. There's usually always a team in here. I'm low on ammo though. I mean, that is good to be able to hit someone from there with a magnum. Probably not doing too much damage though. Right, the gas is going to push. So we're going to have to go into this building, and I did just see a red dot then. Yeah. At least one person. I 
high caliber. I can hear an absolute stampede downstairs. Gas is closing in, relocating the safe zone. There's one. There's two. Finish him off, last shots. Oh, there was a third guy. Damn. Oh, that was a good game, though. That R9, though, is just two pumps per. Per, per player and he just taken up but I saw it had two bullets left so I went to try and get the down and I should have checked to the right because there was someone there oh well good game good fun with the R9